Good morning again, Internet, and it's time for episode three of the MDF Blowfish Boat Build. At the end of the last episode, we started to saw something that an optimist might say looked a little like a boat, uh, but didn't have a transom. Its, it's, it's, it's ass was hanging out. Um, so in this episode, we will uh, finish the transom off and then we'll put the glue around the edges uh, which will hold the top sides to the base um, so that we can then do the glassing that is actually going to hold it all together. The glue I'm using is um, a Fixotrope, uh, which is something that you use to stop uh, resin or filler sagging. It, it, it makes it hang like it won't run like honey. Um, and Q-cells. Q-cells is actually just a filler. It doesn't add any strength. In fact, it's quite weak because you need to sand it. Um, generally, you'd like smooth it over something, sand it smooth and paint it, and you'd like, yeah, we don't know that that's there. Um, but I'm using it to bulk up the glue a bit. These fillets around the edges of the, all the joins in the boat um, don't have to be all that strong. They do have to hold it together while we're building it, but it's actually the fiberglass around the outside of everything that I'm relying on to do the strength work. Um, so at the end of today's video, you'll probably get to see a little boat that's a bit more boaty than the last boat you saw with no ass. Let's see how that goes. Hello again, here we are back in the shop and um, I've done a little bit of stuff without letting you know about it, a secretive little bugger, but initially this is 2.4 meters from this point here up to the bow. And I was going to cut the back off here. The fact is, I like this little bit extra. It's been a little bit of a pain to like just put a bit of stuff in here to extend this. But you know what? I'm good with it now I've done it. And it's actually going to make this a little bit thicker through here. And remember, not that we're going to have a very big outboard on this three horsies at max um, but like a bit of strength around here is going to be needed so the fact that this is a bit thicker there's actually going to be a little box in here to help that and some gussets in the corner but that's going to help so what I've done is I've leveled up the boat uh, and like seriously if you're actually building a proper boat you would set up a strong back down the garage and you would like run string lines and get everything super plumb before you started doing anything. You wouldn't like crawl around on the floor with a jigsaw, cutting out bits of three millimeter MDF and then stitching it together with random cable ties in the hope that it came out true. But this is an eye build boat. It's all built by eye. I've, I've picked up a measuring tape on a few occasions because I'm curious, um, but basically this is an eye build. Um, and so that's what I've done. So I've set up the, the level so I know my boat is level. It's actually sitting on a couple of things with some chocks in the corner to support the bow and the stern. And um, I've measured from the corners to the ground and that's sketchy because I'm pretty sure the floor in here isn't flat. Um, but it looks pretty close. So I'm actually getting ready to like dob some glue around the, around, the, around the edges of the joins here so that tomorrow I can come out, cut all the snips off and then fill it that all up properly. So this will just be some short pieces of glue to just hold things so that when I take out the snips, give it a bit of a sand around the joints and I can then put a big fillet around the chine and up through the middle there and around the back here as well. Um, and that will hold it together, but it's still going to be floppy because the stiffness is going to come in other ways. Yes. Turns out I've lost some footage off the little GoPro and it's sort of pretty important. It's where I used my metal tongue depressor. I think I'd be, my tongue would be incredibly depressed if I put this on my tongue, but this is the tool I used for filleting the chines or the, all, the, all the inside corners in the little blowfish. Um, basically, it's just a 35mm 
uh, putty knife uh, that I have like rounded the top on. So I can't show you me using it, but I can sort of fake it. Well, actually, I actually found a bit of footage of me using the knife in another video file. So here's a bit. You can see I've already done quite a lot. But what I did was I used this knife to put little daubs all the way around it. Came back the next day when this had dried, uh, cut out all the cable ties like I've already mentioned, and then went round the whole boat like this. At this point here, you can see I've already put the transom in, but um, let's go and see how I did that. Okay, well, before we do that, here's the boat with all the dobs the next morning. You can see basically you just put a dob of glue every, I don't know, 20 centimeters to 100 centimeters around, depending on how curvy the part of the boat is there. You can see I've put a bit of wood across the middle of the boat just to support it with a screw in each end, sort of keep it all square. Um, and you know, there's my bit of transom board in there as well. Anyway, <laughs> that's shocking, isn't it? Here's me putting the uh, transom in. So the first thing I'm doing is measuring the angle the, the top side makes to the transom with a bevel. You can see I'm getting the saw set up in the corner there so that when I cut this bit of ply to go across the top, um, the two edges on it will be at the right angle for the sides to flow into them, the top sides. Basically, if you have a table saw, you need to make yourself a tour sled for a tour sled, a saw sled for little jobs like that. It makes things really easy. I've cut a couple of scraps here, and we're just going to clamp them on so that the, the upper part of the transom can go in there, something like that. Look at that. Could have made the whole transom out of one piece of um, 18 mil birch ply, but actually, I don't know why I didn't, but I haven't. So anyway, let's carry on. Um, I get the clamps in there, um, I get the hammer out and just give this little tap, 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 get it about right. Um, drill through the uh, six mil now of MDF because there's two layers there and just put some screws in to hold it. So this will be the bit that the outboard clamps to. You can see there's a little cutout I've put in the top, didn't bother showing that, pretty straightforward. Um, and then I get a piece of uh, three mil MDF, put it over the back, Use a couple of clips to hold it there while I mark around it with a pencil. So just while you're down there, Andrew, there we go. Around we go with the pencil. And, um, oh yeah, better do the top. I've got the top. There we go. Um, and out with, the, out with the jigsaw again. Zzz, 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 zzz. Here we go. Zzz, zzz, zzz. At least this doesn't sound like a dentist drill and the cutout for the top, which I actually bargained up. Evidently, I wasn't symmetrical on all this. Just had to wait for other Andrew to stop yabbering. But anyway, you can see here, the boat has actually had quite a bit of progress. I did shoot some video of this, but I couldn't work out how to like edit it in without making everything super long. But you can see that I filleted around all the corners. Um, and that, like the hull is now pretty much in the shape it's going to be. I've put two bulkheads in already, um, which sort of help keep it stiff. And once again, when I was putting these in, I braced the boat and did some measuring around the floor and what have you. Anyway, we'll wrap this episode up here. Next episode, I'm going to do some science. We're going to talk about how I did the glue or the goop, as I'm going to call it, because really calling what I use to fill at the edges glue is, is a stretch. Um, if you wanted to make like a proper gluing compound, you would use some different additives to the resin. But for what we're doing, this is fine. It's actually what I've got in buckets laying around here. So I'm using stuff I've already got. Um, we're going to talk about uh, the performance of MDF when you glass it. I'm basically doing some testing at the moment and we're going to show some science. So if you haven't already subscribed and like, please do. Please drop a comment below. That like gives me something to chat about and you know I like chatting, right? Um, and if you haven't, go and watch the first two videos and in about a week or so, I'll see you again.